money is just not going to bring back your loved one. It's just not. Personal injury lawyer Paul Campolo says accountability, however, can be attained. It's about justice and holding this company, in this case, accountable and the driver for what they did. More lawsuits are being filed this week against Jerry Hernandez, the driver of the concrete pump truck in last month's deadly crash involving a Hayes CISD bus and his employer, FJM Concrete. On Tuesday, several families filed a lawsuit, the fourth against Hernandez and the concrete company, citing negligence on Hernandez's part as the cause of the crash. I now represent uh, the vast majority of that community. Jason Feltoon is representing the plaintiffs in the fourth lawsuit, all of whom were severely injured in the crash. Right now they're seeking answers. Uh, you know, th there was a crime committed, obviously, by Jerry Hernandez, um, and he's rightfully in, in jail. Court documents reveal Hernandez admitted to using marijuana the night before and cocaine the morning of the crash. A crash that not only injured more than 50 people, but also killed 33-year-old Ryan Wallace and 5-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya. Montoya's family filed a lawsuit today citing negligence as well as wrongful death on Hernandez's behalf. And two lives were lost and a, a great many more uh, have been um, severely impacted. Yaraliz Benitez Feliciano is the plaintiff in the fifth lawsuit and was on the school bus during the crash. She says she also suffered serious injuries as a result. She, along with the plaintiffs in the fourth lawsuit, are seeking $1 million in damages. Meanwhile, the family of Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya, over $1 million. Campolo says it sends a message to companies. Make sure who you're hiring, check their background, their criminal history, so it doesn't happen again. It's just a sad, tragic accident. But was it an accident? That's the question civil attorneys in Central Texas will lay out in a court of law. There were three children that were uh, airlifted uh, to uh, to Dell Children's. This as a result of a deadly crash in Bastrop County last month when a cement pump truck veered into the lane of a Hayes CISD school bus filled with nearly 50 pre-K students. Jason Feltoon is representing eight people who were on the bus that day, three of whom suffered life-threatening injuries. Well, Mr. Hernandez committed a crime and never should have operated that, that cement pump truck, that there are other entities and individuals who uh, could have prevented uh, this, uh, this tragedy. Jason's clients are suing the driver, Jerry Hernandez, the cement pump company employing him, FJM Concrete, and the company owner, Frank Martinez. Liability is abundantly clear. Some victims are seeking millions of dollars in damages from FJM and people tied to the company. A CBS Austin report revealed FJM Concrete is a small business in Central Texas that's just two years old. So what happens if a company is found liable in court but doesn't have sufficient funds Funds to compensate families. I spoke with Mike Golden to find out. It seems if the company is relatively small, you know, bankruptcy is certainly a, a highly likely um, uh, response. Golden has more than 20 years experience as an attorney and is also a law professor at the University of Texas at Austin. He says FJM could file for bankruptcy to handle the expense, but there's also another option. If an individual plaintiff foresees that the defendant might go bankrupt or might not have funds, that creates a special incentive to try to settle. The idea of settling quick and cheap doesn't seem very meaningful, but if if your alternative is a $20 million judgment that you can never collect, you have to make those decisions, right? I spoke to FJM owner Frank Martinez a few days after the crash, and at the time, he referred me to his attorney. Since then, I haven't been able to make contact with him, his attorney, or attorneys representing the truck driver and the company. Just please leave me a message and I'll return your call as soon as I can. In the meantime, Mike says it could be months, maybe years, before we see this in civil or even criminal court. All of our civil courts in Texas are still enormously backlogged. I would expect that if this case went all the way to a jury, it would be 18 months at the earliest. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.